This is the static two-point discrimination test. Okay, the last test we're going to do today is to see how fine your sensation is. That first test we did, just can you feel me touching you, mm -hmm. you did fine on your fingers, a little trouble on your thumb. Okay. This test is a little bit more complicated. What I want you to tell, tell me when you feel something is, does it feel like two points or one? And I'll be just touching you lightly like I did with the pen with okay. this tool. And if you want to feel the prongs, they're rounded off oh, on the okay. end. Mm -hmm. It's not uncomfortable. Okay. And I'll just be touching your fingertips very lightly with it. Okay. Okay, any questions? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you'll turn your hand back over, this one we'll only use on your fingertips. And I'll finish one fingertip before I move around. So, okay. Um, just tell me whether you feel two or one. And if you're not sure, say that as well. Okay. Glasses on so I can be sure which way I'm turning this little guy. And if you'll close your eyes again. Two. Two, two, one, one, two, two. Two, two, one, one. You're okay? Mm-hmm. Two. Two, one, two, one, one, two, two. Two, one, two, one, two. It's one, two. Okay, we're finished with that one. And for the average person, anything six millimeters apart or smaller is, is considered to be normal, meaning there's 
a normal nerve function in your hand. And you are in the normal range on all five of your fingertips, which is good. Mm -hmm. On your thumb, you can tell the difference between two and one when they're five millimeters apart mm -hmm. from those two. On your index and middle and small fingers, it's down here at three millimeters. You can see that those are a lot closer together. It's harder to tell that mm -hmm. there's two separate points, but you can do that on three of your fingers, and your ring finger can tell when they're only two millimeters apart. Mm -hmm. So even though your thumb is within normal, it's not nearly as good as your other fingers. Mm -hmm. All of those are at two or three millimeters, which is an excellent mm -hmm. discriminative ability, and all of your fingers are probably the same if there's nothing wrong with the nerve. Mm -hmm. So that, again, um, is consistent with what you know, you've been experiencing, some funny feelings. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's usually worse in your thumb than your other fingers when you have the sensations. Mm -hmm. um, and that can vary based on the position of your hand and what task you're doing. But, um, so we don't see anything to worry about or that you need to change your behavior about as far as not handling knives or being really, really super careful with things, but your thumb does seem to be having more trouble than the other fingers. Mm -hmm. And I know your doctor mentioned that you were going to have some other tests mm -hmm. done, some electrical studies mm -hmm. to see how fast the nerve is conducting messages. And so combined with that information, they'll be able to figure out, do they think that there's enough pressure on the nerve that we should um, treat you and do some things. And there are some simple things that we can do that might make a difference in making it, uh, the feeling more normal when you're Okay. Any questions? No? I think that's that's sounds good. Okay. Yeah. So we may see you again after okay. you, after the whole evaluation is finished. Okay. okay. Thanks Thank a lot. Thank you. <laughs>